Hello there, and welcome to a tutorial video for AMCS The Advanced Music Construction System. My name is Q, and I've been a DJ and music producer for about 20 years. If you need to know more about me, or anything I've missed in the tutorial, you can find it on the official website, amcs.3rdevent.net. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the track mixer section in the system. The track mixer essentially acts as a 256 channel virtual mixing desk minus the pan and EQ effects. This is not to say the system cannot achieve variable effects. These are normally routed via separate sliders. I won't be showing you that in this video since it's a more advanced use of the system and I'm trying to keep this reasonably simple. The track levels are presented as virtual sliders with direct relation to the tracks ascending from left to right. There is a flashing cursor on the first track level, like in the track editor. If you move it right, it goes to the next track and if you move it left it goes to the previous track. Moving the cursor up will increase the track level and moving the cursor down will decrease the track level. Each slider in the track mixer regulates the cue velocity or effect level for the corresponding track whilst the system is playing. So now that I've explained the interface a bit, we'll load a song to demonstrate using the track mixer section. Go to the filer section, find our song and load it in. Now that we have our song loaded, switch to the track mixer section. By default, all the track levels are set to three quarters of the maximum level. This is an effort to allow some headroom when setting the levels for the composition. When I press play, you'll hear all the tracks playing without any part of the composition being masked. OK, so before I start setting the track levels, I'm going to disable the level automation. This basically smooths any transition with the track levels, and for this segment I don't need it. So I'll raise the function panel and press the button for automation to toggle it. And the function panel is already raised. And also, to make sure we're starting from scratch, we'll effectively mute everything by setting all the track levels to silent. So now, I'll press play and slowly bring in and out the components of this composition, and this should demonstrate manipulating the track levels in real time. Let's take a break whilst I prepare this for the next segment of the video. Welcome back. 
In this segment of the video, I'm going to talk through real-time recalling of track level presets, which allow for the system to be used for live performance. We're back at the track mixer section. If you take a look at the function panel, you can see on the left there are two sets of numbered buttons. The top set represents storing a preset, and the bottom set represents retrieving a preset. For this video, I'm not going to be using the function panel so much, since we have a much quicker way of operating the preset store and retrieve using the keyboard. Firstly, let's play back the adjusted levels to hear what we're aiming for to keep everything balanced. Now I'll store that for safekeeping in preset 10 so we can recall it for reference later. To do that, hold the control key, press the function 10 key. The control key invokes the system to store a preset. Let's strip back the track levels just to the first track. So I'll store this in preset 0. Hold control and press the escape key. Recall our reference by pressing the function 10 key without control pressed. And we do the same silencing tracks by the first two tracks this time. And store that into preset 1, which we hold control and press the function key 1. OK, so now we should be able to switch recalling both of those presets. I'll press play and alternate between the presets. So let's take another break. Hello again. For the final segment, we'll look at some of the other features of the track mixer section. In the previous segment, we talked about storing and retrieving presets, but you might have noticed that there are only 16 presets accessible by the method I've mentioned. The 16 presets are what is known as a preset bank. There are actually 16 banks, making up a total of 256 presets. To quickly access the next preset bank with the keyboard, you can hold down shift while storing or retrieving a preset. And to get even more banks, you can change the current preset bank in the function panel, which is located directly to the right of the store preset buttons, where there should be a number with up and down arrows surrounding it. The hexadecimal number indicates the current preset bank. Now we're going to enable automate, which will allow switching between the presets to be smooth rather than instant. Automate has a couple of settings relative to its function. Step, which is the amount the preset transition divides. And Rate, which is the time taken for each step to advance. I'll now briefly play around with the presets to demonstrate how automation acts.
and that's all the functions in the track mix section I'll be explaining in this video. This should now be enough to get you started using AMCS for music production. I hope this has been informative and thank you for watching.